John here. Look what's come. If you remember in uh, my previous Dragon videos, I've unsuccessfully managed to, I should say, successfully managed to buy bad ones, but I've unsuccessfully managed, uh, managed to acquire a working one. Since my video where I was disappointed when someone told me that it was working and then it wasn't, and you saw, you saw the video where it didn't work at all, one of the viewers offered me a Dragon 32, uh, which they said worked. So I, I agreed to buy it off them. And it was a reasonable price compared to Dragons in a box. And here it is, it's finally arrived. So let's, let's take it out of the box and see what it looks like. So as you can see from the box, the box is you know a little bit damaged here, but that's all right. You know, I'm just more interested in the machine inside. So let's just tip that down a bit so we can see. Right. So we've got the polys, and they look all right. So. Right. Pull the box over there. Right, I think that's the top. Let's have a look. Whoa. That's well and <laughs> that's well and truly some time that is. There you go. Get it in focus. That's well and truly suntanned, that is. So, got the standard ports on it. Serial number looks pretty big. Let's get that in focus. Yeah. 105889. Aid in Great Britain, of course. Wales, to be precise. And yeah it's well and true <laughs> you, you could tell there look see that's not been suntanned but that has <laughs> right then we have got one dragon 32 we've got a press release for the dragon voice of the dragon Cassettes loading and saving is generally straightforward, but problems may occur with some automatic level controls. Check the cassette heads are clean. Ensure the plastic tape header has been passed before saving. If IO errors are obtained and television is very close to the dragon, <laughs> move the dragon away from the telly. But hang on, weren't wasn't it designed to wasn't it designed to have the telly sitting on it <laughs> sitting on here <laughs> do you software okay oh what's this additional information additional the booklet contains some extra information that we hope will end and enable you to get the best of your Dragon 32. Particularly important is the paragraph concerning the cassette recorder lead, as this differs from the information given in your Dragon 32 introduction to basic programming manual, which I haven't got. Oh, hang on, I might have. God, it even gives you a memory map. even gives you a memory map in this and the printer put pins right so that's that so this is something I haven't got introduction to basic 
Dragon 32. So this is going to be a bit of an interesting read. Circle, P mode. So that's the graphics part, which I tried. Ooh. Moving pictures. We'll have to type these in and see what they do. So introduction to basic. And then we've got packing specification. It's a pity it isn't dated. That would have been interesting. Which well, got transformer, coax lead, cassette lead. So that must be the cassette lead. Yeah. Well, we have a. I have a cassette because um, I've got one for the BBC. So as long as that that plug fix this plug here fits inside it. Oops. Get over there. There we go. That plug fits inside it because they go into the Dragon, so that hopefully that will be the same plug configuration for the BBC cassette recorder. Uh, coaxial lead, which we will not use. Oh, it's all sticky. Ugh. And then we've got the power supply. Right then, let's, uh, let's plug her into the telly and see if I've got a proper working Dragon 32. I'll see you in a minute. Take care. Right then. I've plugged the new Dragon into the TV. Here we go. Well, <laughs> we have we have a signal and it's green. Still got the wibbly wobbly lines at the border, but not the text is pretty clear. Hmm. Oh uh, yeah. Right then, let's do my typical Ooh. Right. Well, the text is clear. It's got a green screen. Just a bit, bit of this shimmering thing going on. Right, let's pick a, let's pick a program out of this book. Not too big. Just enough to, just enough to get away with it. Okay. Should we try this? Right. P mode three comma one colon screen one comma one colon P C L S colon dim R open bracket twenty nine comma thirty nine. Are oh, you a joking me? Ah. Don't think we can edit edit lines, can we? Ah. Oh. Copy. It's copy line. Oh. How do we move? Base. 
Ah. Hit the space bar, hit the space bar. Dim R. Open bracket. Open, 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 open bracket. Oh, start again. Right. What? Why is it reversed? Right, ten. Not print. It's still in reverse mode. Try it again. Right, ten. Print. Not print. Right, P mode. Three comma one. Colon screen. One comma one. Colon. P C L S. Colon. Dim. R, oh, open bracket, 29 comma 39, close bracket, right, 20, R, oh, dollar, equal, <laughs> done it again, 20, R, oh, dollar, equals, C, Oh, what? Oh, this entered keys in the wrong place. Twenty R dollar equals C eight B M one twenty comma ninety six semicolon U twenty. R thirteen G twenty six L thirteen semicolon C seven L six U six E six B R one three F six D six L six B U twenty six H six G six. Well, I hope you guys know what that means because I don't. Right, thirty. Draw R string forty. Get alt bracket one one two comma sixty. Close bracket two. 142, comma 100, comma R, comma G. 100, go to 100. List. List. Right. No idea what that's going to do, so let's run it. It's a rocket. Right, so that's what it is. <laughs> oh dear. If you don't believe me, look in, look in the basic programming, basic programming using the Dragon 32, page 121. Oh dear. So yeah. I have no idea what that does. I'll have to read and see what all these things are. But it's working and we have a white screen when we say white. I'll have to do that on the other one. Is it screen what screen screen one comma one or something? Alright, oh, let's break. So if I do screen one comma one 
Oh, right, okay. So it only can happen in... In... Uh, P mode 3, comma 1. Okay, so it looks like they can only work in runtime, not in uh, design time. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, thank you very much to the person who offered me this. You are right, it does work. And this will go into my museum because it work it, it's a proper working machine. I'll use the the one with the orange screen as my play machine. We'll have to see if the colours work though. But thank you very much for offering it me. I will retro bright this in the summer when the sun's out. If we have any summer. And I'll do an up update video when I've retro brighted it and brought it back to its former glory. Right then, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you didn't like the video, fine, hit the dislike button. Always leave me a comment. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, please consider becoming a Patreon. All the money raised goes back into the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.